Hey everybody, how's it going? I wanted to jump onto LinkedIn over the next few weeks and bring you a little video series that's been on my mind and on my heart. Um, you can see I've gone very high tech in the background there to give you the title slide of the video series. So the video series is going to be the lies we tell ourselves about why we can't start a side hustle. Um, the reason this has been on my heart is because I speak to so many people, uh, mostly ladies who feel like their corporate career is everything. They feel like they don't have options, they don't have choices to do something else, to create more money, to create more income, to do something that really speaks to their heart, fills them with passion and um, gets them leaping out of bed every day rather than unwillingly dragging themselves on the commute to a corporate job. So I'm going to tackle it in uh, topics and today's topic is if I move my big buff head. Um, so true or false, my corporate career will fill my soul and provide the life I dream of. That's pretty, well, it's a little bit woosa for me. I have always been a very uh, practical kind of person. So um, I would say that things like journaling and meditation and all of that kind of stuff was not really um, things that I would have been doing. Um, but fast forward into month 15, month 16 of my side hustle, and I have become a little bit woosa. So, all right, so let's let's crack on with the topic. So my corporate career will fill my soul and provide the life I dream of. Now, I just wanted to have a conversation, I suppose, even though this is on a video, I'm hoping that you will share your thoughts and comments with me. So I've been pursuing my corporate career relentlessly since I got my first job. Um, and I'm trying, been trying to work out recently why I was doing that. Um, I feel like I was uh, taught from a very young age that having a secure job in a corporate, um, preferably a bank, my dad was obsessed with me doing the banking exam when I left school to see if I could get a job in a bank. Um, maybe BP, so BP was a, not BP, sorry, BHP, um, I lived in Wollongong, was another um, big career option for me was to go and get a corporate job there. Maybe something in HR. Um, and. I think ever since then I have I'm, I'm quite determined I'm quite career driven I like to win so I've been relentlessly pursuing the top um, without really thinking about what does it mean why am I pursuing uh, trying to get to the top was it because uh, of my ego is it because I wanted to be able to say that I was senior was it because I wanted to have people reporting to me was it because I wanted to be making really really good money um, I wanted to have a safe uh, and secure job. Look, I guess in reality, it was all of those things. So we all know that when we start out in our corporate career, those are the things that um, are probably driving us. And luckily, unluckily, you can look at it however you like, um, but I, I have been reasonably successful. I have had great jobs. I have um, got to work on startups. I've got to work on incredible projects with incredible companies and with amazing mentors in the corporate space. So um, highest title I've held was Chief Information Officer. That was an incredible role again and I was given such an amazing opportunity by the people in that company. And, um, and fast forward to the end of that role um, about 18 months ago. And I was left sitting there thinking, what have I been doing this for? So yes, I've got a great salary. Yes, uh, it's stable and secure. But is it, is it satisfying me? Is it filling my soul? Am I really excited every day to get myself off to work, um, do the commute and all of the things that go with pouring myself into another company? And the answer that I found was no. It wasn't filling my soul. It wasn't making me happy anymore and maybe as we get older um, it becomes harder because you know the things that you want to be doing and I'll, I'll add a I'll add a woman spin on it this isn't the same for all women by any stretch of the imagination but as a mum of three uh, I've spent a good portion of my career being late being late for shit like um, either I'm late for work, I'm feeling guilty because I've missed a meeting or I'm late for picking my kids up or I can't attend an event um, that's really important to my kids. Wh whatever it is, I've spent a huge amount of my corporate career trying to work out how to have it all. And that I can tell you 
There have been moments in my career that have been incredible, amazing. There's nothing like that achievement that you feel when you launch a new product or you launch a new company um, and you're a part of that journey. It is amazing. It's exciting. But um, I've just missed out on so many things. And it's not, it's not, my kids are very independent. They have rolled with it. There's never been any guilt attached to it other than the guilt that I put on myself. But what I know now is at the age of 46 is that I wish that I had considered entrepreneurial opportunities sooner because they're just, for me, I cannot see a way right here, right now in the way that corporates are run that I can make that work. Um, it is it is really, really hard. And it's not that the corporates aren't trying. So there has been incredible, incredible changes in how companies allow us to be flexible um, and to work from home or to work on the move. Um, th there has been phenomenal changes. And I think it's really now just coming to the point, which is um, I need something more. I want to be able to have a big life. I want to be able to travel. I want to be able to fund the things that my kids want. So, you know, my son wants to go to university and become a doctor. That is a long haul and a lot of money. My daughter, uh, middle daughter, wants to go to New York to a performing arts school. Again, um, imagine the travel and imagine the costs involved in that. So my corporate career, not only is it not filling my soul, I'm going back to my little slide there behind me, but it's also not providing the life that I dream of. And so I suppose what I wanted to do today was just to leave you with a thought. And if I can encourage just one person from this video to think about, do you have to pin everything on a corporate career? Does it have to be, um, you know, this nine to five, going into banking, going into wherever it is you're going into, or or is it time for you to think about whether you could fit a side hustle into your day, whether you could um, do something entrepreneurial? Uh, I have a really, really great person that I met in my last role and she's still doing corporate. I'm still doing corporate. I love my nine to five, but I've chosen to have a side hustle so that I can start to build residual income so that I can see a life in the next five to 10 years where I can be where I want to be, paying for the things I want to pay for, doing the travel that I want to do. I may still consult in nine to five and yep, my long career has, has perhaps afforded me that possibility, but I'm building a big business now outside of a corporate that's for me and my family and to create my legacy. I, I want you to ask yourself, what's stopping you from starting on this? Um, it's been written about so much recently that multiple income streams is smart. All sorts of things are coming down the line from a technology perspective, be it um, automation, um, what, what, whatever it might be, technology-wise, it's coming down the line. You owe it to yourself and you owe it to your family to find something that is an alternative source of income that can feed your soul and that can, over time, provide you with the residual income that you need to create the life that you actually want to live. And I hate to say it, but corporate nine to five isn't going to do that. There comes a point where you top out. Your salary tops out. Okay, maybe you become a CEO and you've got all the bonuses. Maybe you're on half a million a year. Um, maybe, you know, you've, you've got all the incredible bonuses. Maybe you're even earning upwards of that. But that percentage of women who make it to the very top of those corporate companies, um, I haven't Googled it, but you could Google it. I'm going to tell you that I think that the, the percentage of women who get up into those income stakes is minor, really, really minor. Um, what I do know is that in my side hustle, the percentage of women in that company is massive. The percentage of women who end up making millions and millions of dollars is actually very, very high. And although people like to have a bit of a crack at side hustles, I would actually go so far as to say that the percentage of women making it in real big income terms in these companies is much higher than it is women making it in corporates. So um, I have a passion for helping women. That is what I love to do. That is what I want to do. Um, there's some really solid personal reasons um, in my history about my mums, which um, is the reason why I'm driven to do that. Um, but that's my heart's purpose. And what I love about my side hustle is that it is uh, helping me to fill my soul. Um, and I'm building the life that I dream of. So um, lies we tell ourselves about why we can't start a side hustle. This was video one. Video one is my corporate career will fill my soul and provide the life I dream of, true or false. 
I want you to open your mind and think about whether now is the time for you to think about stepping into a side hustle. All right, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'd love you to leave some comments and I will see you next week.